on their way. And best out is Miss Marie. Away okay, Miss Speedy. Soon after, finding stride to go to the front from Emmeline. Ewan's the center on the outside to third Il Malocchio. Two to Miss Marie and Cielo Dora taking closer order at the back. Miss Speedy's flushed them out early, has got out in front by a length to Emmeline. One away, Il Malocchio with Ewan's nicely placed on the inside. And two back to Miss Marie and Cielo Doro. So making play up front is Miss Speedy, guided along here by Gary Boulanger to the back stretch. In the Bison City, the favourite leaves them by three lengths. Miss Speedy going easily. In second is Emmeline, a length to Ewan's Il Malocchio. Two back, second last, Cielo Doro. And last is Miss Marie. Miss Speedy has increased the margin, gone out to lead by almost five, and they start the run towards the half mile with Miss Speedy now almost six in front. Emmeline in second. On the inside is Ewan's Il Malocchio the outer. A length and a half away came Cielo Doro, and last is Miss Marie. Miss Speedy's lead still remains about five lengths to Emmeline, searching after this leader as they go inside the three and a half. Miss Speedy by about four and a half to five lengths. They're closing ground. Emmeline gives a bit of a chase in second. Miss Speedy's rider has a bit of a peep. It's a lead of only two lengths, Miss Speedy. Emmeline second, Il Malocchio third. They're fully stretched, but they're gaining. Miss Speedy as they come down towards the quarters, a length in front of Emmeline and Il Malocchio as they turn. And then Cielo Doro and Ewan's top of the lane. Miss Speedy under attack with Emmeline. Emmeline on the outside. And now Il Malocchio, Miss Speedy in deep water. She's not finding. And Il Malocchio and Emmeline have gone on. And now Il Malocchio put to the test with Emmeline stride to stride. On the outside, Il Malocchio. Il Malocchio in front. Il Malocchio holding, Il Malocchio the winner, Emmeline second, three away is Cielo Dora, Miss Speedy is back fourth. 143-42. Patrick Husbands. This is the second lifetime success and stakes honors for Il Malocchio. Both her wins are stakes wins. Upset in today's Bison City Stakes, there's going to be a huge party at the Franco Melli residence coming up tonight, that's for sure. Il Malocchio getting it done. Patrick Husband's here with me. And before we talk about the trip, talk about the emotion. When you hit the wire, I could tell you really wanted this one today. Yeah, Jason, um, 31 years of riding. Try not to get cocky, you know, because <laughs> every time you get cocky, you always get beat, you always ride your horse with too much confidence, etc., etc. <clears throat> Um, when it breeze, when it breeze her on Saturday or Sunday, as I say, I have as big as, big as like Woodbine, you know, <laughs> but channel to get cocky. So then I went over to Mark Cassie bar, you know, I know David got a one or two or one and nine and I went to him straight up. Can't beat me. He said, you don't know how good this filly is. He said, listen to me. Don't let me get to on the opposite side, but she won a big race today. Thanks to Marley. Thanks to the owners. Thanks to everybody. I was just happy. You were at a perfect spot. I mean, the fractions were very fast, 23.46, right? Obviously going a route. That's pretty quick, and they came back to you. Yeah, you know, last time she tricked me by the quarter pole. I thought I, thought I had a race one, and she paused about three strides, and the three strides caused me the oaks. So today, you know, before I swing for home, I make sure I had she in gear. Last time, then she take me to the quarter pole, and then when I answer, she didn't give me it, and then when she straightened out, she ran that horse back down. So the day before the quarter pole, I had she well alert. Congratulations, you did everything perfect, and uh, it's, a, it's a big win. Way to go, yeah. good stuff. Thank you. All right, Patrick, get you to pass the baton over to winning trainer Marty Drexler. Marty, last time we were in this position, it was with this horse last year in the Victorian Queen. Just talk about how special this filly is. Oh, she's, uh, she's special. In my barn, you know, like we run a lot of cheaper claimers and that, you know, middle claimers, and so we don't have that many horses like this. So it's, it's nice to get one that, that you can play at this stage and, uh, and on this stage, and, and it's, just, uh, it's just nice to have one that's consistent and, and, and get the owners and a little bit of money and keep everybody happy. You don't seem all that surprised. You talked about it pre-race. You said you had her ready to go. 
trending in the right direction, tighten the screws, and this is the result. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I thought she was real good. You know, I, I thought she was real good going into the Oaks, and uh, I thought her race in the Oaks was almost identical. I just thought the trip was just a little bit more compromised, and then uh, in, in this race, she... Uh, she had it a little bit more her way, and it kind of served up to her a little bit better, and, and it, it, she ran him down. I was, I was worried a little bit down the lane. The other horse stayed real game, but, uh, you know, it worked out. Chances we might see you for the third leg, the Wonder Wear? I would have to think so. Yeah, I mean, okay. we'll see how things go. Again, it's, you know how they say, like, we'll see how she comes out of it, talk to the owners, but I would have to think. You know, she, she, she gives it all, though. Like, you know, she, she's going to be getting close to being over the top, but uh, I would have to think that's where we're going to aim. All right, just wanted a quick thought, but for now, enjoy this win. Congratulations. All right, thank you. There is winning trainer Marty Drexler pulling off the upset in today's Bison City Stakes with Il Malocchio.